Tutti Frutti, it's a great stage name and it was the Queen's stage for round one of the 2021 EWS, offering up extra points to the fastest riders. That happened yesterday, check the highlights video to see all that action, but it's also going to be in round two coming later in the week, it could be a pivotal one. It's a big track, it's 6.55 kilometres long with 980 metres of drop. Let's go over to Ruri Cunningham for a preview. Okay. The Queen's stage, two free. Breathtaking view at the top here, but the riders aren't going to have time to think about that. So they need to be really focused on this fast, narrow ridge line. It's maybe only a foot of trail. Lots of rocks to catch your wheels in the surface. Court of the locals is really loose and sandy. Difficult to slow down on. Really high speed, you can see how narrow it is. Are breaking in this turn. The surface is super loose. Got to focus on trying to be clean. Any mistake up here is going to spike the heart rate. Really not what you want at this stage. Couple inside lines here. Link it together a bit better. There's also some hidden rocks to catch your wheels. Whoa. Whoa. On these straight sections, you've really just got to try and let go. Give the hands a bit of a break. But your wheels are skipping around all the time. Super tight corner there. Whoa. And end around that one. Now you can see the dirt's changed a little bit. It's getting a bit darker. That means there's more moisture in it, more grip as he slides out. <laughs> Don't exert too much energy up here because this stage is long. Difficult to remember all these turns, especially with your one practice run. Now, I've got to try and let the bike run on this bit because there's a couple little climbs coming up. <sighs> Losing any momentum at this point, it's going to be critical. <sighs> up and over that. Try and keep the momentum going. Maybe only two minutes in, but the heart rate's going to be spiking already. Bit of elevation, a couple of those steep little climbs. And the trail's choppy inside there. Run it wide. Little sections like this just give you a little reset. Couple of good pedals out of that corner. You see the dirt now is gone. Almost a, you know, a hard packed clay. A lot more grip. There's lots of roots. A little high line there. Try and square this off. Couple of deep breaths. Now set up for this line. Inside, another little climb here. Wow, this is where the interval training in the winter really pays off. You can see there's quite a bit of dappled light light sections, shadows, makes it difficult to see what you're actually riding over at times. Heartbreaking on that left. A few switchbacks now. Hard to carry speed out of, but you don't want to waste too much energy. Having a pedal out of every one of them.
<laughs> it's so physical inside there. <sighs> Again, just trying to recover on these straights, but it's so difficult. A lot of these turns just require a couple of pedals out of them. I mean, you've got to do that dozens of times, turn after turn. Makes it difficult. Nice choppy section here. Whoa. Hot into that. Again, savage little pedal out. The inside line here will go for that. Maybe a 50 50. Now a little flat section. Give the hands a rest, but the lungs don't get one. The fast guys and girls, they won't be backing off on any of this. It'll just be full gas all the way. Much grippier dirt in the woods than up top. Much more predictable. Now, this little flat section, pretty savage with no lungs, but actually it's a great opportunity for you. Give your hands a little loosen up. I'm not racing, so figured I've got the right to take it easy. Although it might not sound like that because I'm pan like an old dog. Should have done more cardio this winter. <laughs> I'm back into it. A couple of these sections are very kind of fast, straight, quite predictable. Allows the riders to just let the bike run. Awkward little turn there into a fresh cut section. Nothing much to it again. Just use the gravity, use that momentum. Hands at this point are screaming. Makes it very, very difficult to modulate your braking. So, these little road sections are good for breaking up the trail, but they do require you to be on the pedals as well. So, you're kind of getting a rest from your hands. Oh, tight braking there. And another fresh cut section. Maybe a bit of an inside there. Awkward little part. Now this is a real steep little shoot. And you can break, set up, and straight line that out. Looks like we've got some prey up ahead, right the bank. Good momentum. Hi there. Thank you. Whoa. Another little fire road section here. Hands get a break. If you have anything left, it's just when you use it. Off the bank. Flat corner, real loose. Easy to make a mistake when you're tired. Another one here. You just feel the turn, or feel your tires just sliding underneath you. Run this one right up onto the bank. Tire momentum, that gate will be open, so we're about to come around here. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Grazie. Grazie. Well, I think there's only one way that would have went. Again, to 
heavy breaking into this and back into a little technical section. At this point, heart rate's going to be redlining, hands are going to be tired, really struggling to modulate the brakes. But yet, yeah, you have to be clinical. You can't get sloppy. Wow. And then, these little climbs, so, so tough. The top riders will be probably sprinting these. I'm definitely not. I'll point this little narrow traverse next to the highway and then back onto the walking path. These are pretty simple. Give you time to get your breath back, loosen your hands a little. The little sections like this. You have to try and carry momentum. Tight there, tight there. Then a little sprint up and you've got to sprint not only the top but up and over. Continue that momentum down. Again, loose. Oh, a big compression there. Big bottom out. Not good when your arms feel like they're already by your knees. A little bit of North Shore. This is actually kind of like a little trail center section. Quite smooth. A few little berms. Maybe spoke too soon. It's pretty rough. Some shapes here that you can pump to maintain speed, but you also don't want to get caught up on these roots. A little double there. Hop that one. You've got these last two switchbacks. Go to the piece section at the bottom. A flat left onto this. Now, section before the finish line. Speed must be 70, 80 k an hour. Far too fast for the pedal, so just get your head behind the bars, get your elbows up. Make yourself as aerodynamic as possible. Now there's a left hander here that you've got to slow up for. We'll get wide. Run out of flat right around there, I don't want to make a mistake at this stage. Sand Hill Country. And again, back in that tuck. Narrowing up here. Hey mate. Another fast section. Bus stop up to the right. And into town. Now, For the race, they'll open this town section. We've got a bit of a step down off the platform there. And the course meanders left through the buildings, through a couple of side alleys, and finishes back in the arena, back at the event hub. So, riders will come from the left into this section. Hey mate, not bad yourself. Around this corner. And then left. And into here. 